Welcome everybody to the season finale of the S season two of the SRX series here at the LA Memorial Coliseum. My name is Ronald Kennington, bringing you the action from the booth here, located in this historic coliseum, where we are set to crown a champion. For the second time in this series, where Nathan Stapleton looks to have someone else join his name on the championship list, where the championship battle has come down between Sebastian Palmer and Nathan Ormond, where they are separated by 10 points between that first and second spot. Well, and we take a look at the at the rookie standings. Firstly, uh, Brandon Beal will win Rookie of the Year due to finishing with the highest amount of points. There's no possible way for either Dylan Matthews or Octavian Speedings to surpass Brandon Beal in the rookie points. So Brandon Beal will be your Season 2 Rookie of the Year winner. Now even though Dylan Matthews does have a win, it does come down to points ultimately at the end of the season. Officials are looking to change it up for next season depending on However, many rookies sign up for the new season. But out front, it is the 06 of Will Parrish, as he's looking to get his first win since Season 1 at Indianapolis Raceway Park. But as we go through the running order, first is Will Parrish, second is the 15 of Sebastian Palmer, third is... Kobe Luca fourth is Skylar Taylor fifth is Nathan Orman sixth is Dylan Matthews seventh is Octavian Speedings eighth is Reggie Fogelman ninth is Nathan Stapleton tenth is Daniel Voiles eleventh is Andrew Gutierrez and twelfth rounding out the field is the fourteen of Brandon Beal drivers took the qualifying earlier or drivers took the qualifying one day ago under partially cloudy skies uh, they didn't have much to say about the track other than that it might be impossible to pass the drivers are willing to put it all on the line but one week ago at North Wilkesboro it was all about the driver of Dylan Matthews getting their first career win. As we take a look at the previous season winner or previous race winners of the season, where Sebastian Palmer has won two races, Orman has won one race, Taylor has won one race, and Matthews has won one week ago at, at North Wilkesboro. We're getting ready to fire the engines here for 75 laps of racing here at the LA Memorial Coliseum. We take it down to the track to give the command. Engines are fired here at North Wilkesboro, or not North Wilkesboro, LA Memorial Coliseum. Will Parrish looking to get his first win since. Season 1, Indianapolis Raceway Park, nearly 11 races ago. But Sebastian Palmer's been the one to beat all season long. It'll come down to who can get the better jump on the restart into the restart zone. As you can feel the field bunching up. That's how tight this racetrack is, but we're underway here at the Memorial Coliseum. Will Parrish 
good jump on the inside lane. He's going to take the lead. It's Skyler Taylor looking on on the inside lane for that for that second spot. Here comes Reggie Fogelman. Or, Col or not Reggie Fogelman. Kobe Luca. We're going to join this battle as well as Dylan Matthews takes a look to the inside of Kobe Luca. Battles for that second position as Skyler Taylor now clears for the second position. Will Parrish has already pulled out to a two and a half second lead. That's how tight this racetrack is and how quick one can pull away from each other. It is possible to catch lap traffic by the end of this race. As you can see here, now the battle is for fourth. Dylan Matthews taking a look to the inside of Kobe Luca. Drivers were struggling with how tight the track is. They've never been to a, a track this, t this tight before in terms of the racing surface. As this is the, the smallest track on the schedule. So it's providing a challenge here as battle behind them. As Nathan Orman looks to the inside of Octavian Speedings. Orman trying to clear into turns three and four, but just side by side. Looking high above turn number one, there you can see the back of the field, and there's your leader, Will Parrish, followed by the second and third place cars, Skyler Taylor and Spat or yeah, Sebastian Palmer. As this is the camera high above turn numbers three and four, right above the Fox Sports Studio. But there you can see where all where all the drivers lined up now. Will Parrish has caught the back of the field so we'll we'll see how well he can manage this traffic whether he attempts to pass or just gets in line to save his tires Sebastian Palmer, if he finishes where he finishes, or if he finishes where he is currently, if the race was to end, he would be the champion. But a lot can happen here, here at LA Coliseum. Nathan Orman currently running in the sixth position. Well, though, would be disappointed to lose the championship. He's had his career best season out of the two seasons that he's participated in. So he can set himself up for success in the next season. Where he currently looks to finish second in the points. As Nathan Stapleton will not have any contention for the championship. 
or the top two in the points at the moment. Up front, it's still Will Parrish. Not looking to pass the 99 of Angel Gutierrez. But he's just saving his tires for late in the run. But Will Parrish out, out front here since the drop of the green flag for 25 laps. Into this event, we're one third of the way complete here. Brandon Beal will take home the rookie season two rookie of the year championship. Because, according to the math, neither. Octavian Speedings or Dylan Matthews will be able to pass him in the points. While well, they both sit at 90, Brandon Beal sits at 120 points. Ethan Stapleton, your season one champion, hasn't had the season that he's that he has hoped for. Just a quiet season overall from the driver of this three machine. Certainly won't be disappointed with finishing in the top half of the points, but will be disappointed to not have won this season. But Skyler Taylor in the 69 has really turned their season around as of late. Winning out at Auto Club two weeks ago. And then had a decent run out at North Wilkesboro one week ago. And on, and on track for a good finish here tonight as we round out the season. Officials have not announced the Season 3 schedule yet. As they're still looking to finalize some deals with race tracks, potentially new venues, and possibly returning to previous venues from season one. This race would be will be the longest one in the series so far. It's almost like driving at Martinsville, where you kind of have to hug that inside line. But if you go too low, you won't be able to get the momentum off the off the turn, off the corners. So you just have to be able to hook the turn perfectly to be able to set a good lap here. Let's take a look at the fastest laps, which has been set by 46 of Dylan Matthews. With a 14.213. And Kobe Luca right in front of them. Have a 14.229. All the drivers so far are r roughly running the same amount of. Or the same lap times. Only with about a tenth fall off. Drivers out in practice didn't know what they'd expect, but they did know that the, due to the size of the track, passing might have been one of the key issues here. So the key to qualifying, the key to finishing well was to qualify well. Although we've seen some passing, it's only been done on the restart so far. But Skyler Taylor was able to make a, make a gain a spot. 
and others have been able to gain a spot while others have lost spots. Currently no battles out on the track at the moment as everybody is roughly equally spaced out from one another. But out front so far it's been the 0-6 of Will Parrish. Looking for career win number two. Where he got his first win out at Indianapolis Raceway Park one season ago. For what has been an 11 race win win winless streak. He's currently on the pace to break that w winless streak. Look at the two of Kobe Luca. They've had a quiet season so far. Currently sitting. They're, they're currently 11th in the points, which is not what they wanted. It was not the season that they had hoped for, but. A quiet season nonetheless, even though the points might not show for it. Let's take a look at Angel Gutierrez. Currently running in the last spot. Leads a four-way tie between Will Parrish, Reggie Fogelman, and Dylan Matthews. We're all tied at 57 points entering tonight's race. Where Will Parrish would look to be able to jump, jump a few spots with a win tonight. As we look at the driver of the 98 on your hand, not the season that they've looked for. Only 19, only have 19 points under their name. Have just struggled with the transition from moving. From the 5 car to the 98 car. Even though the seri even though the cars are spec. Where they all share the same parts and pieces. Different teams work on them. And work with the drivers. To make a car that they like. And unfortunately. It just hasn't gone well for the driver of the 98. We'll look to rebound next season in season three of the series. Look at this. I think Skyler Taylor is starting to close in on the 06 of Will Parrish. We just have over 23 laps remaining here in this race. We have just under 20 laps remaining in, in this race. I mean, two, 16 laps to go. Looking above the turn three and four cam here. You can see the field back in the turns one and two. Where you can really see how tight this facility is. There you can see all the fans in attendance. But out front it's been Will Parrish leading every lap in this race. Gather Taylor, unfortunately, not close enough to make a move, but is definitely gaining. 
was able to chop off five one hundredths of a lap of a of a gap that lap. Well, Paris has just been so masterful on this track. He knows where to run. He knows where the speed is. Well, Paris is definitely showing how to master this track tonight. So we have under 10 laps remaining here. As we are about seven laps remaining here in this race well Parrish looking to take home the win but can scatter Taylor close the gap and challenge late in the race here These cars do produce a small amount of dirty air, so it might have something to do with the lack of passing, as we saw Scott Taylor kind of take a lunge into turns three. And I think they're the closest that they've been all race long to the back bumper of this 06. Three, four laps, or three laps to go here. Can Skylar Taylor make the pass and complete the pass? Two laps to go here at LA Coliseum. White flag is in the air for Will Parrish one more time around this track Sebastian Palmer on on the pace to be your season 2 champion Will Parrish wins at LA Memorial Coliseum and Sebastian Palmer your season 2 champion over Nathan Norman congratulations to the Will Parrish on the win. Congratulations to the 15 of Sebastian Palmer. As we take a look through the finishing results, first is the 06 of Will Parrish, second is Skyler Taylor, third is Sebastian Palmer, fourth is Kobe Luca, fifth is Dylan Matthews, sixth is Nathan Orman, seventh is Octavian Speedings, eighth is Nathan Stapleton, ninth is Reggie Fulgham, and tenth is Brandon Beale, eleventh is Daniel Voyles, and twelfth is Andrew Gutierrez rounding out the field. We'll take it down to the track for Sebastian Palmer's celebratory burnouts as he is your season two champion when when we come back. Here we can see the 15, the Sebastian Palmer taking his victory lap around the LA Coliseum. Your season two champion and getting ready to burn it down here. Celebrate his championship. And there he goes. Gave the wall a little kiss there. But I don't think he cares that much. He's happy he was able to take on the hardware here. For season 2 of the SRX series. There you can see the points on the left side of your screen. Congratulations to 
Sebastian Palmer as he kissed the wall there again with the front end. But congratulations to everybody that participated in this season of the SRX series. And congratulations to Sebastian Palmer on your season two championship. Congratulations to Will Parrish on the win here tonight on the debut of the LA Coliseum. And congratulations to Brandon Beal winning the Season 2 Rookie of the Year Championship. My name is Ben Ronald Kennington. And we'll see you all next time for Season 3 here of the SRX Series. Have a good night.